Okay, everybody, welcome back. It's Miss Kendra from Learn and Play Montessori School. I have some information about flowers for you, and I'm going to present our worksheet from April 24th. Okay, so today I'm going to start with a book on flowers. I have so many beautiful flowers in front of me, and they smell so, so good. This is a Caracas. The Caracas blooms when spring appears, and the orange pistil is hidden inside the flower. Right? All those petals are closed up. The stamens have the pollen in them. So in the center, the orange piece, that's the pistil. Okay, and the stamen is this yellow part. That yellow carries all the pollen in them. We can take a look at our orange tree plant. And here we can see the pistil is this part here, up top. And the stamen is here. You see these white pieces and the little pollen on top? Those are the stamen. This is an orange, oops, sorry stamen. This is an orange tree, okay? And many flowers smell nice and have pretty colors. They attract insects. The insects like to eat the nectar or the pollen and the pollen gets on the insect's legs. Then the insect carry the tiny pollen to the pistil of the next flower. Wow, that's amazing. That's how our flowers work. We really count on those little bugs to help us out a lot, huh? So a little bee buzz, comes over here to this flower, tastes a little bit, tries to eat a little bit, gets a little bit of this yellow pollen on their bodies they want some more coming over here and bring it to the next flower. It's going to go in there, in the pistil, and down it. And then let's see what happens next. This is a strawberry plant. And this green bud opens up into a little flower. Right, the fruit grows inside the center of the flower, right? Remember, this is our orange tree, right? So this is gonna be a future orange. Starts as a flower, it gets pollinated, the bee brings it over, it goes down. And can you see this green bud here? That little green circle here, that is where the fruit comes from. Okay, let's see, under the flowers, becomes the fruits. Soon the petals fall off and now you can see the ripe yummy fruits. Okay, let's take another look here. The petals fall off, right? And then you come in and you can see the fruit. That little green circle is gonna grow and grow to the fruit. To first it's gonna become this green orange. It's not ready yet, not ready to eat yet. We can see the sepals here from the flower. And then it's gonna grow and grow and grow and grow into an orange. And then we can eat it. How awesome is that? Flowers are really delicious sometimes, huh? Another kind of flower is the dandelion. So all flowers make seeds so that new plants can grow. The dandelion starts as a bud and then it becomes a flower. It looks like this. Okay, and then the petals start to dry up. Can you see the outside there? It looks a little dry. It's about to dry up. When it dries up, it turns into this. This is a big puff of seeds. Have you guys seen these outside? I found one outside that was almost all gone with its seeds, but I think I found a puff of seeds, right? You can find these and blow them away, right? Let's see if it works. <gasps> oh, it worked, guys. We need some soil. <laughs> and our flowers are going to grow inside. Uh-oh. So that's how our flowers, those are the parts of the flowers. And on our remote learning website for Learn and Play Montessori School under April 24th, you can find this parts of the flower worksheet. So it has numbers on here, mom and dad, or everyone, if you want to make it a little tougher, let's cover up those numbers, okay? Let's cover those up. A little white out, a little marker, a little something, okay? 
And we're going to put our name here. My name is Miss Kendra. And let's see the first one. The pistol. Do we remember the pistol? It wasn't that. It wasn't this. It was this one. Pistol. P I S T I L. This is nice uh, practice for penmanship also. Let's try number five, the stem. That's not a part of the flower, but that's important for the flower, right? That brings the water to the flower all the way down at the bottom, the stem. S-T-E-M. And let's see, finish that one, finish that one. Number two, the petal. Where's the petal? These are the petals, right? P-E-T-A-L. Number three, stamen. You remember this part? This is the part that holds the pollen, and the bees come and take it and pass it to the next. Stamen. When I color this later, I'm going to color this part yellow because most pollen is yellow. And the sepal, this part, the sepal. S E. P-A-L, sepal. Don't forget to color this all nice. Maybe your favorite color, maybe the colors of a flower that you know, maybe mom's favorite color. Okay, so that's really fun. And don't forget, go out, take a nice walk. And if you guys wanna try another something from April 20th on our remote learning website, we have another flower worksheet and you can practice writing flowers and you can draw your own flowers, okay? Bring them back to school. Your teachers want to see this. Thank you so much, everybody. Thanks for joining us. Uh, subscribe for Learn and Play Montessori School, and we'll see you soon. Have a good day.